Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow Motivation. And I'm back with another video this morning. I oh, had to get my phone out because I am tracking my steps, guys. I am tracking my steps. Let me put this phone on. Do not disturb. And pull up the verse and the devotion for today. Sit it down. Let's say grace. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to thank you for blessing us to live to see this beautiful, blessed Saturday of yours, God. We thank you, Lord, because this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I thank you for this food that you have blessed me to have today. I ask that you let it be a nourishment for my mind, body, soul, and spirit. I also let it be help some weight loss and not hinder. Take out any defilement in Jesus Christ's holy name. And God, please make sure that your people's everywhere, all over the world and nation, have something to eat. In the name of Jesus, amen. Happy Saturday, motivators. I want to share some pictures with y'all. I was looking through some stuff of mine. And I found my old pictures. Let me see, can I do something a little bit about this light behind me, okay? I just think that was too much light. But I found some pictures of when I was uh, my very last year of teaching. Very last year of teaching. And that was in 2020. 2020 was my very last year of teaching. And man, oh man, oh man, those pictures are beautiful. It brought back so many memories. Y'all know I always say I want to go back to work. So let me fix my dress, my moo moo. So yes, I found those pictures and they were so, look at these pictures. This is my, the pictures I took my very last year of teaching. And today was T-shirt day. So we have on um, T-shirts with the school name and what it means to us to be teaching. Yeah, I found those. So I'm going to frame these. I'm going to frame these. Y'all see, I had the ring in my ear. I had a toothache on this particular day. That's why I got cotton in my ear. So yeah, I found those. I could not believe I ran up on those, but let's go and eat. I got my coffee right here and I have my water. Today we have some uh, brown sugar oatmeals. We have some um, turkey breakfast sausages and we have two boiled eggs. And I'm hungry. I'm ready to get into it. How are you guys doing today? I want to talk to y'all about something. I'm going to read the verse of the day too, but Today, I happened to turn on the TV when I got through doing my walk this morning. Let me show y'all my steps for this morning. These are my steps for this morning. So, this morning, I walked 1.65 miles for th 45 minutes. Those are my steps for the day. So I'm proud of myself. Even though my thigh got the hurting and stuff. But guess what? It's all right. Because vengeance is God, says the Lord. He going to take care of me. And I got to do what I got to do to help me in this arthritis in my body. So if that means I got to keep on walking. And my doctor told me to move it or I'll lose it. I ain't trying to lose it. Mm. Happy Saturday. What are you guys having for breakfast? The last episode of Jesus Took the Death Penalty for Us will be out today. So I'm waiting and see what the Lord got in store for me next. What is the next series going to be about? I'm so excited. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm so excited. And I just came off my fast of 15 hours. Yep. Mm.
Hard boiled eggs is so good. That's my favorite way to eat eggs. Mm. Oh, that coffee is so hot. Let's take this top off. So I was what I was get back to what I was saying. So I was looking at ran across this girl channel. I'm not gonna say her channel name or her. She's doing YouTube. And she was talking about how she didn't have the confidence, the boldness, how insecure she used to be, and how she used to get bullied. Um, I just want to say this. If you're a young person... And you going through anything like that, being bullied or people just picking on you, find somebody you can talk to. Go to a counselor. Go to the um, the uh, the principal. Go to a teacher. Go to somebody you can talk to and tell them about it. Because that... It's not good. With so many of our young people, and not just young people, it even be people's like um, um, mentally challenged people take their lives because they're being bullied, picked on. Find somebody you can talk to. In most cases, you should be able to talk to your parents about it. Or your caregiver. Whoever it is that has a uh, custody or that's over you. That's why as parents, we have to make our relationship with our kids be open. So that they can come to us and talk to us about any and everything. We don't supposed to just be parents or legal guardians. We supposed to be their friends. You know. Their confidence, somebody they can confide in, talk to. Me, I was the kind of person I can talk to my mom about anything. When I started having boyfriends and fooling around and stuff, I told her how I felt when they, when I made love, how it hurt and everything. I told her. It's nothing I didn't tell her. And I remember my sisters had asked me one time, you girl, you should tell mother everything, anything. You know, yep, I can talk to her about anything and everything. That was my best friend. That was my mother. That was the one that carried me for nine months. And guess what? Just like I talked to my mom, I talk to God the same way now. That's why me and God have a great relationship. And I don't want to do nothing to mess that up. Back to what I was talking about being bullied. I used to be a victim of bullying too. And like I said, I'm not going to call no names. When, I first, when we first moved to the town that we, I grew up in, it been in Mississippi, this one girl, I said she was jealous of me. That's how I could think it was. Because I was pretty. I was new. I didn't dress bad. I had good hair. I was very light-skinned. I was way yellow than I am now, guys. Think, think about it. my dad is a mixed man. So, my dad's not white. I think he's mixed with, he's something in Indian, so. 
But anyway, what other reason did this girl have for picking on me? She did it and did it and did it until one day my brother made me fight her back. And then I never had that problem again. Never. And I hope because she used to bully a lot of kids at school, period. A lot of kids. And I hope that God really touched her heart and opened her eyes. And she repented for that. Even though she have not repented to me, but she repented to that for that. Because she got kids and grandkids. And nowadays, kids ain't living through being bullied. They're taking their lives. Or else somebody's doing something to them. So, I hope that she repented. Like, my, one of my sisters used to be a bully. I ain't calling no name. Because they know who they are. But I pray that the girl that bullied me repented to God. Because she had to think about she had kids and grandkids and great grandkids that now got to go to school and have a chance to stand to go through the same thing. We have to be very careful of things that we do and say. Because it 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 can be handed down. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna say handed down. Our kids can reap some of the effects of it. So that's why it's good to repent for everything. Everything you have done. Because there is no little sin and no big sin, no little eye and big eye. A sin is a sin. So if you bully somebody, it's a 50 50 chance that somebody might be bullying one of your kids or grandkids. Or maybe one of your children bullying somebody. But all the time, we don't have good results from that. I remember one time, one of my subscribers reached out to me about being bullied. And it was a child. It was a little girl and her brother. And I think the girl said she was 11 and her brother was 9. And she was pleading to me, asking me what to do. Can I stop them from doing it? And she even reaching out to me on Instagram too. Bullying is not good. It's not good. This oatmeal is so good. It has a hint of brown sugar in it. And it's so good. Mm. Mm. I'm trying to learn how to balance out my meals now. So now I'm starting to put in more um, veggies. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I hope Johnny thinks um I have I thought I had did I show you guys that? Wait a minute. Mm, I don't know.
I didn't. I think it was a, I think I had a video that I actually supposed to be uploaded. Uh, in, oh, okay. Okay. I see it. Never mind. Never mind. I got it. Uh, I hate when a lot of stuff be opened up on my phone. Yeah, guys, so I think I'm about getting full, but I do want to read the verse of the day. I'm getting full now. Happy Saturday and happy Sunday to y'all. The verse of the day is coming from Job 1 and 8. And I'm just going to read these and that's it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, that one that feared God and eschewed our evil. So this was the, the devil. The Lord was asking him, had you considered my son, Job? Have you considered Job, his servant, Job? He said, one that is, um, there is nobody like him in, on this earth. He is perfect and he's an upright man. And he feared God and he stay away from all evil. Job was a good man. I would love for God to say I one that's perfect and stay away from evil. Okay. And fear him. The devotion of the day is coming from Luke. Chapter 13, 23, 27. The title says, The Lord offers salvation to all, not our will except the gift. God offers his salvation to all of us. And all of us ain't going to accept his gift of salvation. No, we not. Let's see it. Read Luke uh, 13, verse 23 and 27. Uh, and get the get the wisdom of God word today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to cut it off right there. I ain't want to really do a whole lot of talk, talk, talk. This ponytail on my head. Woo, God, it's sticking somewhere. It is sticking up in some time. Let me unwrap this. Mm. It's sticking, 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 sticking something. It's, it's clips on these ponytails, on this ponytail. And baby, when I tell you that this sucker is sticking in my head in the back, oh no, we can't do that. Put that little sucker right there. Mm -mm, I got to go take my sister some food. I made her breakfast also. And I'm going to go take, I don't know. I know I messed it up. It's okay. It's just a ponytail, guys. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right, man. It's all right. It's just a ponytail. It's just a ponytail. Something I just did to come over here and talk to y'all, you know? Mm. Breakfast was good. I hope y'all have a great breakfast today. I hope y'all have a blessed day today. I don't have anything planned. I was going to go, plan on going and visit my brother, my baby brother. I still might. I don't know. He live upstairs and I ain't really to them stairs, but that's not where I'm going. It's just that I don't like putting myself in places and predicaments. Like the guy that that takes me around to do stuff, he a friend I've been knowing all my life, but he is so 
provocative. He be trying to, he just won't quit trying to cope, you know? Won't trying to have a relationship, start a relationship with me. I'm not into that. That's not what's on my mind. It's not what I want to do. But I do want to go see my brother. So I'm thinking about calling my uh, second oldest sister, Sylvia, and asking her when she do she want to go ride with me to go see him? So that way, he won't be trying to, you know, hit on me. <laughs> I try to stay away from stuff because I don't want to be getting myself in no trouble. Y'all know what I'm saying? I'm full. I had to brush my teeth right back. <laughs> oh, I like messing with the camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Saturday morning breakfast of mukbang. Let me know how that um how that hot sauce that you got, that new hot sauce TCG fam. Let me know how it tastes. It looks mighty good. I like uh what is it? Is it avocado? I don't forgot. But I like that green. It looked like that green hot sauce that you get from Taco Bell and stuff too. That you can get when you order uh burritos and stuff. So I like I like that green stuff. It's very hot though. Whoa. So I hope that one ain't very hot, but I can't wait for you to do the review. Shout out to Big B Message. Shout out to Eric Weaver, my little brother. Y'all go subscribe to every Eric Weaver Weaver's channel. He used to be called Gamer Bro, but they took his channel down um, due to copyright claims strikes or something so go support him he was on the road he had just got monetized and his videos was getting a lot of views so go check him out help him motivate him so that he can get back up and start back to bringing that banging 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 content to you guys again okay like i'm gonna be doing I'm be bringing y'all them banging banging bang 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 Bang, bang. We'll be bringing y'all that banging, banging, banging biblical word. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment down below. Oh, Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. If there's anything you want me to, to cook and prepare you guys want, let me know. I can do move buns too. I do move bombs, games, challenges, whatever. The word, sit here and be pretty, whatever. <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed Saturday. Ignore the face because I told you this face, do what it want to do. This is my picture again, me when I was in my last year of teaching. My very last year of teaching, I went to... Because of the COVID, I went to I went to teaching um four, five, and six year olds. I left from the high school kids because I was uh teaching eight, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. I never really teach twelfth too much, but I did eight, ninth, and tenth. That was my main grades that I taught all the years that I was a special ed teacher. And I loved every bit of it. I'm ready to get back to work. I want to be little light about it. You hear me? So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, thumbs up the video. 
Tell somebody that you love them today. Stay safe, stay blessed. And remember, we're all under one God, one nation, one love. Peace we have because Jesus took the death penalty so that we didn't have to. And for that, I am grateful and thankful and peace I shall have. In Jesus' name, God bless you all today and amen. Let me show you guys my moo moo. This is the outfit of the day. And then we are out. This is my moo moo. Moo 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 moo. This is my moo 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 moo. This is my moo moo. My outfit of the day. Have a good day, guys. I love you and God bless. Mwah.